Hey everyone, this is David. I'm back making another video. And this one is in regard to e-bikes and DC to DC converters. This is a boost up converter that I got on eBay. Very beefy. Look at this heat sink. Very heavy. And the price was pretty good. It was only $20. Free shipping, mailed to my door. Now what... What does this do? It takes, um, it's a variable. It has a potentiometer here for um, amps. It has one here for voltage. And what I did was um, I soldered this XT90S uh, to, uh, to the board itself. Now you see there's three, one, two, three inputs, one, two, three. Uh, I think that this is one of the newer types of DC to DC converters. If I, um, when I was looking at pictures of this on eBay, some of the other sellers would would uh, have the same exact one, but have two inputs. So this one has three pin, three inputs. So one of the inputs I'm going to use is an XT90. I was thinking for the second one I can use is like um, an XT60, or the third one can be an Anderson connector. But we're going to make it just like this for now. And at the end of here, what I did was I'm using a nice hefty um, Anderson connector. And I just put, um, put the wires right into uh, the screws there. And it's holding them down. One is for uh, the voltage out. And one is for voltage out up. Uh, negative one is voltage out positive so uh, I just screwed that in I took this off an existing battery I have and then I did a little bit of soldering here and put this on so let me show you what this can do okay guys I'm back again so in this package that I have here is actually a battery I just use this to um, insulate and protect the battery that I have it's actually a 36 volt 20 amp hour battery and I have it hooked up here. It's at like 80% uh, of, I charged it up to 80% full. Um, you know, this would go up to 42 volts if it was full, but right now it's about 80%. So I'm using a splitter just so I can show you what the voltage is of this pack. It's going through the wire. And then I have it, I was tweaking this potentiometer here. You can make it any number you want. So now it's at 56 volts. So, in essence, what I really want to do is take old or inexpensive 36 volt batteries. This one is, you know, from last year or the two years ago when this was the only deal in town, these 36 volt batteries. Boost them up somehow like this by using a powerful booster and an inexpensive booster. And then having some type of serious voltage like this, maybe 66, 56 or 58.8 volts, 60 volts, just as, you know, as a, maybe as a test to see if this will actually work. Um, it says new 1200 watt 20 DC converter boost board. Now you can see here that there's only two holes for the input, but you, as you can see that mine had three, one, two, three. So you're going to look, you're going to want to get one maybe that has three. I think that's the newer one. The seller of this one was this, Sammy Love. It came really quick. I was pretty impressed. Um, it was under $20, as I um, mentioned before. And this is the input voltage. Now, if you had a 32-volt battery, um, that would be about, uh, I mean, a 36-volt battery, it would be 42, you know, 42 volts. So, um, so imagine boosting it up, 20 amp current. I'm not really sure yet how to measure amps. I don't have a, some, I guess I do have a, something that measures it, but, uh, that's the input current output. Now you can see that if you wanted to, um, really boost it, you probably could, you know, up to 80 volts, but, um, for a 52 volt battery, that would be about 58.8 volts or 56.6. So I'm gonna try 56.6 on mine. 